Hi there. Thank you so much for reading this week's twos letter. Lately, I've gotten questions about the uh, K-P-E-E-R-I, I guess, I don't know, Kapiri exam um, that is offered through the Center for Effective Reading Instruction, which is a um, organization through the International Dyslexia um, Association. And they measure knowledge of your structured literacy practices. This is an exam given if you would like to pursue certification through the International Dyslexia Association. So this is another credential that you can add on after you've completed um, Orton-Gillingham training. Uh, there are lists of programs that the IDA uh, approves and, and finds accredited to be able to take this exam. It's the K-P-E-E-R-I exam, and that stands for Knowledge and Practice Examination for Effective Reading Instruction. Now, that's a mouthful. Listen, I'm going to just put this out there right now. If you are trained in Orton-Gillingham and have gone through all of the studies through about dyslexia, the Orton-Gillingham approach, structured literacy, the components of structured literacy, then certainly you are more than prepared to take this exam. However, I know when it comes to taking an exam, people get a little nervous. I took it. I took it online. There was a live proctor and you can take it that way as well. I know they used to offer uh, an in-person testing option pre-COVID days, and now they've offered the benefit of taking it online. Uh, so that is um, one option for you. You can go to the Center for Effective Reading Instruction on the IDA website to find out all the information you need about registration, paying, and so forth. But what I get asked about the most is, how can I prepare for this test? <laughs> so I have three things that I recommend, okay? So the first one is free. Go to the Reading Rockets website and go to the Reading 101, a guide to teaching reading and writing. This is just a really nice free overview course. Once again, totally free, but it is really extensive. There are videos to watch. There are practice questions that really go over all the components of structured literacy. So that's Reading 101 on the Reading Rockets website. That's the first one. The second one is a book. So uh, you do want to be familiar with all the training that you've done, learning about dyslexia, dyslexia assessment, intervention, um, a little bit about the legality, special education, and so forth that comes with dyslexia. So this book, Basic Facts About Assessment of Dyslexia, Testing for Teaching, and that is written um, and published through the International Dyslexia Association. This is just a really short but really useful book that I highly recommend picking up. I'm going to put the link in um, with this video that you'll be able to find it. So this was very, very helpful as an additional study tool. The last thing you might want to check is to go on a site called Quizlet, Q-U-I-Z-L-E-T, and they have practice um, quizzes on there that you can take for the this exam. Um, are some of the questions worded a little strangely? Yes. <laughs> um, with the way the people that have gone on Quizlet to create them. However, just to familiarize yourself with the types of questions that could possibly on, be on there, you may want to check that site out. Uh, I think you can just try out some of the practice ones without having any kind of a paid account on there. So that is one other place that you can go. So the three things were reading rocket site for reading 101, basic facts book, you're gonna pick that up. And finally, if you want, you can check Quizlet for some practice exams. Uh, it's really not a bad test at all. Take deep breaths but you definitely want to practice before you take it. 
Uh, best of luck if you are planning on taking this exam. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.